in tonight's Project Earth, we are talking to a climate scientist who says clean renewable energy is powering California to levels never seen before. So much so that he put his money and his comfort where his mouth is. Juliet Goodrich has the story. On the San Francisco Peninsula, a two-story, 3,200 square foot home with large picture windows. It must cost a fortune to heat and cool this place, right? Wrong. To run it, it costs nothing. I have not paid an electric bill in eight years. Meet Mark Jacobson. Jacobson is a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Stanford University and a climate scientist. I built this home from scratch. It's all electric. There's no gas on the property. This is a zero net energy house. The home generates as much energy as it consumes. All the energy generated is clean and renewable with no polluting fossil fuels. My whole goal of my career has been to understand and solve large scale air pollution and climate problems through clean renewable energy systems. The house is a light steel frame structure with airtight insulation. On the roof, solar panels. In the garage, a home battery system. So I'm generating my electricity with solar on the roof and that solar generates during the day, peaks at around noon. I use a, a lot less energy than I produce and so that uh, extra electricity first gets stored in batteries and then the excess beyond that uh, gets sent to the grid. As for California's electric grid, it's undergoing a major transition to clean renewable sources. Since 2021, about 25,000 megawatts of renewables have been added to the supply. That's enough to power nearly a quarter million homes. According to Jacobson's research, so far this year, California has run on 100 percent wind, water and solar most every day for an average five hours a day. Wind, water, solar this year has supplied 57.4% of all of California's electricity. Those calculations don't include homes equipped with solar and battery systems. These are sufficient to, to provide electricity for my home from solar for 24 hours a day for most of the year. In addition, Jacobson uses energy efficient electrical devices, including an induction stove. It uses 60% less energy than gas. It boils water in half the time as gas. In each zone of the house, we have a what's called a ductless mini split heat pump to cool or heat the house. A heat pump transfers heat between the indoors and outdoors. They use about 75% less energy than gas heaters uh, because they don't actually create heat. They just move it. It looks just like an old water heater. Then there's a heat pump electric water heater. The temperature set at 129 degrees. It's got plenty of water for lots of showers. Jacobson got a federal tax credit as well as a state subsidy. He's also collecting data on his home to help inform others about a combustion free future. 